Hi, I'm Cory Doctorow. I'm a science fiction novelist, uh, activist, writer, journalist, and I love libraries, and writers say that all the time, but like I'm an actual recovering library worker. I was a page, I was a cataloger. I'm now a visiting professor of library science at the University of North Carolina at the library school, and libraries mean a lot to me. Um, libraries are the only place in the world left that aren't religious, where you are welcome because uh, you're a person. Right? You're not a customer of the library, you're a patron of the library, and the reason the library welcomes you is because it's your library, and it's my library, and it's everyone's library. That's a kind of institution that we used to have a lot of, and that we have very few of these days. And for that reason alone, I think libraries are very important. Libraries are also intimately bound up with authorship and books. Um, libraries are older than printing. They're older than copyright. They're older than paper. They're older than bookbinding. Uh, might be older than commerce. And today, you know, I love my publishers. I write for most of the big five publishers. Uh, but when I hear them talk about libraries wanting to lend out ebooks and saying, well, we never expected that our ebooks would be lent out by libraries. That sounds crazy to us. How, how could that be? I think, you know, folks, how did you get into publishing without expecting that libraries would lend out your book? They're older than you, right? This has been the deal since the year dot. And then finally, when I think about the, the drive to limit library lending with these licensing regimes that treat books as kind of widgets that you can set terms on that can say things like, you can't lend a book or you can't give a book away or uh, you can't read a book after a certain date. I think, you know, they might be able to do that, right? There's a, there's a lot of raw power concentrated into a small number of firms' hands, and they do have the ear of a lot of lawmakers out there, and so maybe they could do that. But I think that if they did it, it would be uh, spectacularly self-destructive because books today, <laughs> books today, they've got a, a kind of irrational penumbra of virtue, right? We love these books in ways that like go well beyond the actual value of any given book. Um, like if you're an amateur filmmaker and you want to depict the fall of civilization, just show like a pile of books on fire, right? Everyone knows exactly what you mean. You, you know, it's the same as like showing someone eating a dog, right? Like it just tells you the social contract has been dissolved. Everything good about society is over, right? Maybe we can convince people that books are just stuff, right? That they don't matter. Uh, as a writer, that scares the hell out of me. Uh, as a writer, I think there's probably a bunch of people who own my books because of the sentimentality of the physicality of the owning it and having it on the shelf and signaling to other people about it. Uh, and if we convince those people that these books are just like um, stuff, like uh, like old CDs that you're like, God, what am I going to do with this thing? Oh, I guess I'm going to throw it away. Uh, boy, is that going to make publishers and writers and people who care about books much poorer. So, you know, for all of those reasons, for the ideological triumph that a library represents of, of mutual aid and mutual obligation, for the ancient pact that libraries represent, the pact that is older than printing, older than copyright, older than commerce, and for the, like, raw commercial reason that having a product that people think of as having an especial kind of mystic virtue, uh, I think we should honor that ancient compact. I think that we should let people lend and borrow and give away our books, that we shouldn't try to renegotiate the deal in a way that confers a temporary, fleeting, and ultimately not very large advantage to those of us who make and care about books, but ultimately devastates books as a category and us as a community of books. Thank you.